Am I hi to my welcome out to United Sports Centre for round 18 action of the Southern League between Christchurch United and Kashmir Technical. Final game of the season for all sides taking place this time throughout the South Island. Nelson taking on FC 2011. Salwood Nomads, Hiramu Bays versus Green Island and the City Royals taking on Coastal well, for this game. First and second on the table, both sides already booked into the National League. So pride on the line and also a warm up for the English Cup final where these two sides will play each other again. In the first round, one all was the final score between Tech and United. A goal for Christchurch United after the red carding of Schwartz before they found a way back into the game. The other battle we'll see out on the field today is for the Golden Boot. Sam Phillip currently on 29 goals and Coughlin on 28. So either of those players in the running to take this away. I'm sure regardless that these sides have booked the place into the National League, there'll be a lot on the line. So I really want to look to take momentum. Two games for Christchurch United in the last week. A big win over Green Island. That score 15 goals to three. And then they beat FC 2011 5-0 on a Tuesday night. Well, for Tech. They drew two all with Bays. So they'll look to shift focus from that game and see what they can come away with today. Looking at the starting lineups for Christchurch United. Watts, Murphy, Grover, O'Driscoll, Zeb, Stokes, Phillip, Lindsay, Wilkinson, Todd Smith and Godden. For Kashmir Technical, Ford, Kane, Storer, Schwartz, Richards, Barbara Ryan, Coughlin, Taguchi, Tung, McIsaac and Matheson. As we do see the appearance of the players out onto the field now. Chilly day here in Christchurch. Currently 12 degrees with northeasterlies blowing. Very light breeze though. Just coming from the bottom left of your screen towards the top right. And there's a Garda Bonner here from Tech for Christchurch United who have won this league. Wind shouldn't play too much into today. Once they get running around, I'm sure they won't feel it too much for us sitting in the stands. We're all rugged up, jackets on. Christchurch United in the blue today. With Kashmir Tech in the yellow and green. Of course, Watts coming into the starting lineup with the absence of the number one goalkeeper who is away with the under 23s for the Olympic qualifiers. Morris doing a fantastic job in the first game there as well as we begin the formalities for the game today. Looking forward to the midfield battle. Taguchi obviously back into this Kashmir technical side. Didn't play this whole season before returning. And of course, it's going to be the battle up top between Coughlin and Phillip. Coughlin had probably done enough to take the golden boot. So I think it was eight goals from Sam Phillip in the game against Green Island. Got things back and then picked up another one to go one ahead on the Tuesday night game. I think. Christchurch United again will look to play the way they've been playing all season, just holding the ball, building possession and pressure from the back. And for Kashmir Technical, they'll look to disrupt that. A lot of experience, obviously, in the side. Schwartz, who's still playing centre-back. 
Apparently it could be his last season, but we've heard that one before. But he's out there again, and of course a lot of experience in the coaching staff as well with his brother, and of course Dan Terrace, three-time Chatham Cup winner, and most appearances for Canterbury United. He also plays Wednesday nights for the Mitzvahs futsal side. So I'm sure there'll be plenty of words to be had there. Players look ready to go. We're all set up here. There's the referee. Does his final checks. And we're underway here at the United Sports Centre. Round 18 of the Southern League. One place, two. And what could be a dead rubber, but I'm sure they'll find a way to make this one Interesting as Richards delivers one, almost sneaks in there past Watts, but happy to see that one go out. So Breeze slightly favouring Kashmir Technical in this half. It shouldn't be too much trouble for either side. The weather forecast doesn't say it will pick up, so see how we go as this ball into the middle for Godden. Uses Stokes. Back for Godden again, near side now for Zeb. So he pushes forward, trying to get around Kane. Centering the ball to Gucci there. Falls back as far as Godden. As he slows this one down, Grover. Wilkinson back into the side. Stint away in Australia before returning again as well. Good to see him back as Zeb. Stepping inside, still going. Finds the feet of Philip as offside called on the far side by the assistant referee. Quite sure how he found himself offside there, but first one of the day. Sitting relatively deep there were Kashmir Technical as they choose to go for the direct route here as Driscoll just steps inside for Gucci and Todd Smith coming together. Lindsay. The ball forward for Godin near side again for Zeb but this time it's not quite on as Philip looks to chase that one down but Ford collects it. So he rolls to Schwartz. Drives forward. Happy to take the speed. Coughlin. Barber Ryan continued his run, but Lindsay there to intervene. Both sides looking comfortable with the ball at the moment. Todd Smith. Wilkinson back for Todd Smith. Far side for Grover. They look to shift it across the back line. Driscoll. It's been the way they've played all season, United. It's moving the ball along the back line. This tech sitting relatively deep on defence at the moment. Lindsay Coughlin putting pressure on him. Just forced to go back to Watts. Not by himself at the moment. Barbara Ryan. Chasing forward as well as O'Driscoll comes into the half. Murphy. Still going as Murphy. Still going as Murphy. Good run forward here. Uses Wilkinson on the far side. Delivery looks good, but good intervention there from Kane. And that's Richards. Comes away. Kane. Barbara Ryan. Coughlin running forward there, but Lindsay in good position. Both sides. Seems Kashmir Technical looking to be relatively direct in their play. As United look to build from the back. No Driscoll. Lindsay. Down the line here. For Stokes. 
Storer set for him. Good run here from Stokes. Chance to shoot, does near post. And just grazes the upright there. Looks like Ford did have that one covered. That will be a goal kick, but good first opportunity there for Stokes. Just getting the better of Storer on this near side and driving the shot low. Cashman technical now to come forward, but Richard's unable to keep that one in. Murphy, Zeb. Good move here from Stokes. There's a bit of work there from Tung, I think that was. As he claims his innocence, and Russia United get us back underway. Got it. Stokes has one forward. As chance here. As cries of handball from the bench on the far side. That's seen by the referees. As Todd Smith. At the moment. It's United as Coughlin. Goes for goal out of position here, but can't hit the target. Saw Watts off his line there, did Coughlin. That was the right idea, but unfortunately not on target. Good opportunity there for Kashmir Technical. At the moment. Got it. Near side for Murphy. As he looks to drive this one forward. Dark forward there to collect. Tongue. Drops back for Storers. That's left forward. And so he clears that one away. And Barbara Ryan and Godden come together on the far side. Coughlin ends up down, but referee waves that one away. So at the moment, Tech just unable to hold position. Talked about it in the previous games with Christchurch United. So I was just unable to build that pressure through possession. Looking to score on the counter at the moment. And there's Watts. A bit of pressure put on him. Clears this one down as far as the halfway line. But it's tongue first on at Barbara Ryan now. Taguchi almost feels like his first touch of the game seven and a half minutes in back on it again now Schwartz time for him as he gets that left boot forward as far as Kane drops this one for Matheson still going and it's out of play it's better from Kashmir Technical Matheson getting involved There's Lindsay now, he drives forward, Wilkinson. Pressure coming from Taguchi. Todd Smith drops back again for Lindsay. O'Driscoll. So he steps forward into the half. Both centre backs on both sides. Happy to take space when it's given. Murphy. He's got him. Steps into the back line while Idris goes forward. Lindsay. Back for O'Driscoll. A bit of space for him this time as well. Zeb. Has Murphy with him. Uses. Set up a bit more on defence here. Have Cashmere technical as this one comes in for Stokes. Dropped off here for Todd Smith, but. Just unable to bring that one under control. There's Barbara Ryan. Coughlin. 
back for Schwartz. It's eventually Stora. There's a heavy ball here. Coughlin. Schwartz driving forward again. Barbara Ryan. Kane. Back for Barbara Ryan. Steps inside. Good move there. Coughlin. This is better from Kashmir Technical. There's intervention made there by Grover. Still working hard though. Taguchi. Advantage called. No, says the referee. We'll come back. I was happy to play the advantage, but nothing taken there. This will be a free kick here for Kashmir Technical. Look, it's Tangi step up over this one. <laughs> Definitely potential shooting range. As Matheson comes over to join the conversations. of Schwartz suggests they might look to play a ball in here scored plenty of goals for number six but looks like they'll go for goal here and it's in oh what a finish beautiful free kick there from Tung hit it beautifully top left hand corner and Kashmir Technical they'll take the lead on the 11th minute Wow, that was some finish there from Tang. Dead ball situation. Haven't had too many opportunities outside. But so far they've made it count. That was a great finish. Just picked a spot. So, the champions are going to have to come from behind here. There's something I don't think they've had to do too many times this season. Of course, they have yet to lose a game. 16 wins and one draw. From a neutral point of view, this is a good start to force United to come forward a bit more. There's Todd Smith, Stokes, Grover now. Just the way Kashmir Technical is setting up at the moment. Plenty of numbers back, forcing United to make something. Looks like Coughlin's going to be the one that'll sit much higher up today. It's Matheson, Richards, and Barbara Ryan sitting next as Ford put under a bit of pressure here, but comes near side for Kane. A bit of space for him to come forward. Uses Barbara Ryan. Back for Taguchi. Barbara Ryan's looked lively today. Schwartz. And it's Matheson. Can't bring that one under control. And a bit more pressure coming now on United. And it's Kashmir Technical just able to find their way into this game a bit more as Coughlin this time goes for goal with that one high of the target. Will be a goal kick. Decent crowd in today. Chilly day, but plenty of football action on around. As we mentioned, all final games taking place at the same time. As Murphy drives forward with it now. Good tracking back from Richards though, but falls force Philip. Murphy again. Todd Smith back for Murphy. Happy to recycle as far as Lindsay. Just two really forward at the moment for Kashmir Technical. Allows O'Driscoll to drive in again. As he can't get away from Richards. Taguchi. Murphy tracks back nicely. And drops that off for Watts. Got it. 
Todd Smith. Bit of pressure there, but able to beat that press as they come again through Driscoll. Todd Smith, Zeb, Murphy in a bit of space, but Storer will come across and cover that as Philip puts a bit of pressure on him. Zeb, Storer. Tries to clear that one away, but falls here as Kane and Zeb come together. Richards. Taguchi still going as Taguchi. Goff, Coughlin, near side for Richards. As a switch here, far side for McIsaac. Two 17s come together. Schwartz, good run here from McIsaac and I think he continued his run. Wilkinson towards it, track back. Still going as McIsaac goes for goal. I don't know what happened there. Not sure if there's a touch. Corner says the referee, so a save there for the keeper. He's just bounced at an awkward height for Watts. He was able to get enough on that. So it will be a corner. Matheson to deliver here for Cashmere Technical. Just to add to that, as Godden gets ahead on that, falls for Stokes who gets enough of it, and Richards just fires it back in there. Not sure if that was a shot or a cross, but left by Watts. Sixteen minutes gone here at United Sports Centre. Round eighteen action of Southern League. Cashmere Technical one 0 as it stands. Beautiful free kick. Luke Tuck in the eleventh minute. It's been predominantly Christchurch United with the ball. Of course, they do have a Chatham Cup final coming up next weekend. First time in a while, Christchurch United will be playing in that game. There will be a few fans attending from down in Christchurch. And Driscoll. Got plenty of time today. Real pressure on him at the back as Schwartz tries to get in to make an intervention. Has got it, unable to connect there with Phillips that all through to forward. As Phillip eventually puts a bit of pressure on him. Shorts. Barbara Ryan. Coughlin, this is good from technical. That one just gets away there from Richards. <laughs> Lindsay. Ford. It's bit easy there for Schwartz. This one will fall for Barbara Ryan in a bit of space. They will track back, but dropped on this near side. There's Kane. Taguchi. Back for Stora. Kane. Barbara Ryan. Best pass from him. It's Todd Smith able to get onto it, but position still with Cashmere Technical. This one sent long, and it's Murphy who gets enough on that. So it will be a throw in. Matheson. 
Phillip onto that one. Good challenge there from Taguchi. Schwartz. Coughlin. Back for Taguchi. Great body position from the number 11. As Wilkinson put under a bit of pressure, but Watts able to clear that one away. As I think it's a handball called here from the referee. Coughlin can't believe it. As we take closer to 20 minutes gone in the first half. Come on, give them something to do. Just at the moment, United unable to create the goal scoring opportunities. They were controlling position early on, but with that goal, Kashmir Technical have really found a way back into it. There's Coughlin, bit of pressure coming from Lindsay on the far side. As in the end, Coughlin ends up on the ground. <laughs> Cards been asked for all around here. As the bench for Cashmere Technical on their feet. <laughs> Looks like Coughlin will be okay though. As he gets back up to his feet and Gingerly walks away. Just a free kick here. Sent forward for Richards to chase. Might as well to keep that in, but can't get away from Grover. Lindsay, oh, Driscoll. Murphy, press coming now from Cashmere Technical. Good challenge from Matheson, but cleared away by O'Driscoll. Stora able to get up for that one. As Taguchi comes away, the loose ball. Kane back for Taguchi. That goal has really grown the confidence for Kashmir Technical. Stora forward for Barbara Ryan, who looks to turn away from Godin. Still going though is Barbara Ryan. Schwartz. Taguchi back for Stora. As he goes back for Ford. Just at the moment, did start off quite direct. And they're able now just to hold on to possession. Which has really swung the momentum of this game. As Bob. Matheson a bit of space on this near side for Kane as he delivers back for Matheson. Chance. And what a finish. There it is. 2-0 for Kashmir Technical. This time it's Matheson. Taking their opportunities. Uh, Kashmir Technical. It was a well-worked move. Kane with plenty of space on this right-hand side. Just dropped it back for Matheson, who was unmarked. Picked his spot and made absolutely no mistake of it. 2-0, the score lined out. 23 minutes gone in the first half. Well, how will the champions respond here? Of course, no. Real effect on the table, other than goal difference for these two sides. But momentum into the Chatham Cup final next weekend for United. As I'm sure what coach Paul Eiffel will be thinking about. Oh, they're going to have to score at least three to come back into this one. Uh, United. I'm sure Cashmere Technical will look to grow this lead now. Far side with McIsaac. So he looks to find Coughlin, and that one just caught there. Yeah, there's a yellow card showing there for Stokes. There's Coughlin. 
getting a little bit of a working over in the last few minutes as the physio Ben Horton comes out onto the field now two fantastic goals so far for Cashman Technical first one beautiful free kick from Tang and 12 minutes later Matheson well worked team goal Cashmere Technico two goals to the good inside the first 25 minutes only conceded nine goals so far this season Christchurch United before these two goals it's 11 goals for the season three of them also coming against Green Island, first team to score three goals against them this season. Fortunately for them, there's 15 of them scored at the other end. Defence leaking a wee bit here. As McIsaac sees that one out of field on the far side. Cashmere Technical look to clear their lines. Taguchi comes on the loose ball. Near side for the goal scorer. And just sends this one forward for Coffin. Bit of space now. Numbers for him. And this one will be a corner, says the referee. It was a good run forward by Barbara Ryan as well. but Just unable to get that one forward as we see. Tall Timber coming forward for Cashmere Technical. Cashman Technical women's side playing in final today. Rita Fitzpatrick. There's good delivery here. Cleared away. There's Lindsay off the side of the foot there. Kick came, kicked off at 12.30. 2 0 at the moment for Cashman Technical over Nomads. Cashmere Technical, and I look to continue this lead. Find another way as that one just sneaks out. As Kane clears it away. Will be a throw it on this near side. Stokes. Murphy. Good work here from Barbara Ryan. Coughlin in a bit of space, trying to get around O'Driscoll. Still going as Coughlin. Chasing down that golden boot. It's good work here from Murphy, the youngster, to hold him up. And there's Barbara Ryan. Good run forward from him. Centres. Chance. Oh, good save there from Watts. Not sure much how if he knew much about that one, but pressure still on here for United. Grover. Turned over again. Just unable to secure possession at the moment. Uh, United. Stora. Coughlin unmarked again as he comes forward. Goddard misses the challenge as this time it falls for Zeb. As United look to break. Far side for Stokes. It's a little bit too wide there for him, so numbers will come back for Cashmere Technical. Be part of the game, but you hear forward and goal there, just asking numbers behind the ball. That's a good ball forward here for Philip. Good save there from forward. There's Philip. Didn't quite get enough of that one. It will be a throw in. The first real opportunity in a while for Christchurch United there. O'Driscoll, Taguchi steps forward on him. Wilkinson's come across 
to this left hand side. O'Driscoll. Stokes. For Lindsay. Grover. Zeb. Todd Smith. No way through at the moment for United. Just happy to sit a bit deeper as a late challenge there from Tung on Todd Smith. As the referee will have a few words to him here. They can't shine. Just a talking to. So it will be a set piece opportunity for Christchurch United. 30 minutes gone in this first half. Cashmere technical leading, two goals to nil. And there's delivery from Stokes. It's McIsaac who's there. Shot comes away, bit of a touch. Philip, Barbara Ryan clears it away for Taguchi. There's Richards coming forward here. But Watts able to clear away. Is Halfway line, and there'll be a foul there from Tung again. It's the second one in a few minutes, so sure the referee will be keeping an eye on him as Schwartz able to clear away. Falls to Grover. This next 15 minutes is key for both sides, really. For United, we want to get on the score sheet. The technical just want to keep them out for as long as they can. As Murphy able to get on that one to Gucci for the referee calling it back. Just a couple of fouls in quick succession here from Cashman Technical. As Grover almost loses out there, but Zeb able to come across. Lindsay O'Driscoll Murphy. Lindsay again, a bit of space for him to step forward to, no one coming forward on him, falls for Philip, chance here for Wilkinson, he drives this one across but this gets too much on it, and does go for a goal kick, better set of possession there for Christchurch United, this game's been full of momentum shifts, First 10 minutes, Christchurch United creating the opportunities and goal was scored and technical rammed it back. At the moment is on a risk since that second goal that United are finding a way back. Fascinating game with these top two Christchurch sides. And Grover. Side. Watts. He clears this one away, but it'll be easy here for Cashmere Technical. Schwartz. Matheson on the far side. Coughlin. McIsaac. Matheson again. Barbara Ryan. Good passing here from Technical. Murphy comes forward on this one. Good work here from Taguchi. Somehow can get a foot in the way. Wilkinson still going as Wilkinson. Bit of space now as he drives forward. Chasing back is Matheson. Still going though as Wilkinson. Uses Phillip. Numbers back though for Cashmere Technical. Todd Smith. Unable to get that one through. Got it. Todd Smith again. Stokes. Yes. Cashman technical able just to set their defensive lines back up again. They've looked very organised on defence today. Wilkinson. O'Driscoll. Just walking forward at the moment. There's O'Driscoll. There's that one. Hands back up with his centre-back partner. He 
takes the space for it, sitting deep at the moment. Uh, Cash Metechnal opening up here for Todd Smith as a shot comes in, blocked there by, it's like it was tongue. Just not on the mark there, says the referee. Take that one again. Only 10 minutes remaining in this first half. Technical dominant on the scoreboard. On both sides. And patches of dominance on the field. At the moment has an equal goals for Christchurch United as Murphy comes forward. Wilkinson brings that one under control. Forced away again from the goal. Barbara Ryan gets a touch on that. Does come back though. Todd Smith, far side for Grover. As they try to work away through. This Cashmere technical defence cleared away by McIsaac. And Watts will bring that one under control outside of his box. Got it. Back for Lindsay. He drives this one forward, finds Stokes. Good touch from him. Near side now for Murphy. Bit of space for him. Richards tracking across. Todd Smith. Can't find the feet there as Kane comes away with it. Taguchi in a bit of space now. Driscoll tracking across. He'll get there first though. Goes back as far as Watts. Have to start again from the back. Will United. Not with that. And his possession turned back over. Falling the way of Kashmir Technical at the moment. The game plan just working for them. Able to suffocate United Arses. Coffin driving forward with it. Can't get enough on that. Here's Taguchi steps forward. Real pressure coming here from Cashman Technical. Matheson now. Todd Smith does enough there to send it away. But it's just working for Cashmere Technical. One sent high, numbers coming forward as Tung and Stokes come together, but falls for Stokes as he tries to chip that one forward. Zeb as Barbara Ryan just runs into the side of him here and goes the other way. All right. Saw something different there, but. Right in front of both benches. Just to get a clarification of that one, but sent forward here by Schwartz. A touch there from Coughlin is work on him from Lindsay. And this time, another foul. So just falling for Cashman Technical at the moment. And a good run from Richards. Dangerous position again here for Christchurch United. And with just one chance in this half, falling to Phillip. It's a good save though from Ford. And goalkeeping ranks are slightly depleted at the moment. for Kashmir Technical. So the youngster doing a fantastic job so far in goal. Try right, set piece here for Kashmir Technical. There's a couple of players coming together. Referee gives the hand signal. No more of that. So delivery here. Stokes able to get on that one. So will be a throw in for Kashmir Tech. Just over six minutes here remaining in the first half. Regulation time, couple of injuries, so a few added minutes. 
Uh, Storer. Kane. Tung. Richards. As Murphy tries to step forward on him. The throw here for Taguchi. Coughlin. Back for Richards. Tung in space. Schwartz. What can he come up with from here? Barbara Ryan. Schwartz again. McIsaac, his delivery looks good to Gucci, but no Driscoll's there. And it's turned over again here from Kashmir Technical. Just at the moment, unable to. A good challenge there from Tung. As Wilkinson look to drive forward. Murphy for Todd Smith. They're pressing a lot more now. Uh, Cashmere Technical. And there's a little ball there. And it will be Stokes who have come away with it. Advantage, says the referee. Zeb in a bit of space. Has Grover coming. Chips this one forward, but not enough from that. And they'll clear their lines here. But it will be Wilkinson who'll get that. Chance of volley shoots. It's just wide of the target there. And a card is going to be shown here. Must be Kane. It was. As he accepts that one. So the first yellow showing for Cashman Technical. Just the one other one for Stokes so far. Just caught him a bit late there, says the referee. So it will be a goal kick here. I really like the way Cashman Technical have come into this game. They've grown into it. Defensive structure working at the moment against the side who likes to hold position. Getting numbers back behind the ball. There's this one sent forward. Grover gets ahead to that. Got it. Not enough of it. Richards forward here for Coughlin, but Driscoll just lets that one roll through to Watts. Murphy has to drop back a wee bit to grab that one. O'Driscoll. No Lindsay. As he steps forward into the half. A little touch there off to Gucci. Will be a throw in. Centre backs today really. Enjoying the space that's opening up for them. And there's a good battle on the far side between Taguchi and Zeb. Not to see this. Last few minutes out in this half, Kashmir Technical. Just cross it, United, unable to create the opportunities. And the Kashmir Technical, when the opportunities have come, we've taken them. There's been a couple of other half chances. Coughlin almost catching the keeper off the line. Another save from Watts, but other than that, too many chances. The two that they've taken. Making it worth it. There's that one sent in from O'Driscoll, but beats everyone. No goal kick here for Ford. Sent forward to the halfway line as O'Driscoll meets that one. And they bring it under control here. Zeb, pressure coming from him, and it's turned over again. Poor Cashmere Technical. Barbara Ryan, good move there. And as he leaves it for Richards, but O'Driscoll comes forward with it. Wilkinson now. It's in front of him. Stokes sends this one forward for Wilkinson. Good touch. Sends it back for. 
fill it. Bit of space for him. Centres. Grover can't bring that one under control. A few frustrated players now for United. Ah, it will be a throw in on the far side as we tick away in the last minute here of the half. Coughlin holds it up well, but tries to send that forward. No one there for Cashman Technical. Pressure now for Murphy. Taguchi gets a touch on a chance here for Matheson again. Golden does enough. O'Driscoll slows it down again, forcing Matheson out. Coughlin now, double team on him. And they will clear away. And as we look to see what's been added, we'll just be the one minute here of added time. Another good opportunity there for Cashman Technical. Had the numbers forward, but just weren't unable to link up. This one sent forward again. Grover gets a touch on that one. Barber Ryan, he's been good today. The number nine, Coughlin. Touch there from Matheson, but ends up in there as Wilkinson tries to bring under control. Taguchi now uses Richards. Again, Richards looks down the line for Taguchi, but Todd Smith will be there first. So we'll just see this one in the corner. O'Driscoll. And that'll do it here for the first half. Fascinating encounter. 2-0 the scoreline in favour of Cashmere Technical. We'll take a break. Don't go anywhere.
Yes, in the ages of under four to under eight, uh, what's really important is that the player becomes, the young player becomes comfortable with the ball. And that includes, you know, being able to dribble the ball, uh, using the right foot and the left foot as partners. We use uh, some different ball mastery skills, uh, skills like the tic-tac and the slide, and they're all they're all designed to help um, the young player basically control the ball a little bit more. Let's go, let's go. Pass Alex, lock it. We also we also encourage them learning changes of direction, things like that. And, and when we're out here, we play three versus three a lot. We play in small numbers so that every every young kid's getting a lot of touches, and we encourage them to dribble a lot. We play a game format called Faninho, which has four goals to it. So the young young player can attack one goal and if it's guarded we encourage them to go to the other goal, the other more open goal. So these are all little things that we do on the U4 and U8 program here at Christ Church United and um, the program is, is really growing and, and we're really thankful uh, for all the wonderful parents as well because they've been really supportive and been also uh, practicing and playing with their kids at home. So we're, we're really, uh, really pleased with the program.
Okay, Milano, welcome back to United Sports Centre for the second half. Round 18 action of the Southern League. Top two sides coming together at the moment. With Cashman Technical having all the answers at the moment. 2-0 the scoreline in their favour. So Christchurch United will have to come back in the second half. Two goals down. Well, the coaches have had plenty to say. So Court still on field at the moment, discussing things with Sam Phillip. To see Cashman Technical return from the changing sheds. And Freeze are out there as well doing their checks. Chilly day still here in Christchurch. No real change in the breeze. So we'll favour Christchurch United in this half. I don't think really did play too much into those two goals that were scored in the first. And as we do see a change being made by Christchurch United, it looks like Stokes won't be returning. be replaced by the number 12 by the looks of the board, which is Stern. And there's one other change. Not sure which other number it is, but... Nashua Technical slowly making their way back out. This is coach Daniel Terrace leading the charge. Most crucial member of Wednesday night mixed football side, the Misfits. Unsure of where the rest of his team is though. There's Cashmere Technical to make their way back out now. See if there's any changes there. But we'll make these other changes official. So Stokes off. <laughs> and it's Murphy off as well. And King comes on. So two changes for Christchurch United. Looks to be unchanged at the moment for Cashmere Technical. So what does this second half have in store? Both sides look ready to go. Second half underway. The Christchurch United to get us started playing from left to the right on your screen in the blue. Interesting to see if Cashmere Technical come up with that same game plan. I was working for them. Now things can change with just one goal. There's McIsaac just to send this one down away, but Coughlin does well as he tries to again catch the keeper off the line, but. This time, nowhere near the target. There's Lindsay now, drives into the half. Grover, bit of space for Grover as he drops for Zeb. First touch there for Stern, the 50-50 challenge. Coughlin. Dora. Far side for Kane. Had a good first half as well. Number two. Pick up the yellow. There's Zeb now. Looks to get around 
Like Isaac does so, still going as Seb. And a good challenge in the end there from McIsaac as he steps out of his box. But O'Driscoll reaches that one first. And Taguchi in the way. And there's Matheson. Was offside there. Back underway. Seb. Todd Smith, heavy touch from him. Full score, Schwartz. Intervention there from Todd Smith. Philip now in a bit of space. As Schwartz gets too much of that. So it will be a corner here. I'm sure they want to get one back early in this half. Will Christchurch United. Delivery. Yes, that will be a goal kick. There's Lindsay. Just couldn't get away from Tung there. Shorts. Kane. It's enough on it. Forward for Richards. Good turn from him. But and the foul says the referee. Wilkinson back on defensive duties. No Driscoll. No real pressure coming on him at the moment, so steps forward. Far side now for King. Wilkinson. Trying to get away from Taguchi. Coughlin coming across on him. Will be Coughlin that'll come away with it. Taguchi now. Good turnover from Kashmir Technical. Forward here for Matheson. And Driscoll gets there first. Watts sends us to halfway. But Schwartz greets it. Barbara Ryan back for Taguchi. Far side now for Coughlin. Barbara Ryan again. McIsaac has made the run forward. This is good from Kashmir Technical. Delivery is good. Get away there from O'Driscoll. And Stern sends that back for Godden. There's Schwartz just steps across the line nicely there. Proclaims his innocence as he jogs back into position. There's Lindsay now. Far side for King. Todd Smith. Taguchi comes forward on him. Foul called, said referee. So a good set piece opportunity here for United inside the first five minutes. Technical just been defending so well. So Wilkinson to deliver. All numbers back though here for technical. The delivery is good towards the back post. Got in, just can't get enough of it. Can't hit the target. As we do have a player down here. He seems to be okay. Store it. So, another opportunity for United, just unable to take them at the moment. A few half chances. That's Kashmir Technical, who are taking theirs. As Taguchi sends this one forward, met by King. Stern does enough. Wilkinson, good run forward here, finds the feet of Philip. Again, Wilkinson. Oh, that is some goal. Amazing work from Christchurch United. That was Wilkinson, who made the run forward, link up play with Philip, and a classy finish from Wilkinson. Well, I'll bring this game back to life, that's for sure.
Oh, that response from United. Great team goal and a great finish. That's the pace at which Wilkinson moved there. And then the finish as well. Nothing Ford could do about that one. 2-1 now. Technical need to respond here. There's King. And I want to keep that one in the field of play. So it will be a tech throw on the far side. It's just a great finish, really. There's Matheson stepping forward there on Grover. McIsaac heads that forward. Grover. Zeb. Stern just leaves that one behind. And Tung will come away with it. Barbara Ryan. A bit of attention on him. Going to get away for Tung. Near side for McIsaac. Sends this one forward towards Richards, but can't clear their lines here, United. Schwartz. Forward for Coughlin. Just keeps that one in, tries to get around, but runs out of space there. Be a goal kick here. Like the goals today, both sides. Finishing for the goals has just been excellent. Started with that free kick from Tung, Matheson, and then just recently Wilkinson has got in here and a bit of space. Far side for Todd Smith. Keep this one in. Can't do so. Just getting away from him there. Still no change in the Golden Boot race either. Coughlin and Phillip. Phillip one ahead on 29. Coughlin 28. There's Kane. Steps away. Richards back for Taguchi. Coming forward is McIsaac. Has Matheson. Uses him. Bit of space here for Matheson. Delivers. Uh, no one there for Tech. There's Watts able to collect that one. Far side now. Wilkinson. Can't get a touch on that. Falls for Richards, but can't bring that one under control either. Of course, these two teams will do it again throughout the National League. And there's also an English Cup final to go as well. So at least three games left between these two sides after this one. As Barbara Ryan makes a good run forward again here. Drops it back for Schwartz. Looking for Coughlin. King coming across. But again, it's Cashmere Technicals turn to command position Barbara Ryan Schwartz Matheson McIsaac Tung Stora everyone getting a touch at the moment for Tech Coughlin far side for Kane back for Coughlin again as he sends Kane down coming across as King they get there first but good work there from Kane to Force the throw in as we all see a change here. Jackson Cole onto the field will replace that's Eddie Wilkinson, the goal scorer, who'll come to the site. So sent forward again here as Watts has to come forward. Coughlin, a bit of attention on him. Will be a throw in. Again, that goal was just a great 
things very interesting. Unable at the moment to control position like they did in that first 10 minutes. Christchurch United. Barbara Ryan having a lot to do with that. And Taguchi as well. Three changes so far. For Christchurch United, none yet. For Cashmere Technical. As Barbara Ryan unable to keep that one in. Still plenty of time though. 12 minutes gone in the second half. Yeah, throw it. Coughlin, I know where to get away from King. Lindsay, pressure though, and turned over again here. Just unable at the moment, United, to get out of this press from Cashmere Technical. Coughlin, down the line here, chance for Crosses United. McIsaacs, and is that one in? The flag is up and it's a goal. There you go, it's the number 17, McIsaac. It was a great header. Watts isn't happy about it. He feels it wasn't in. So the goal has been given. I wasn't sure from my position, but the assistant referee on the far side saw the ball cross the line. So 3-1 the score line. McIsaac getting his head to that one. There's a late change to the starting lineup. And a celebration towards the camera as well. They love to see it. I don't think he was originally meant to be starting this game. So 3 1 now in favour of Kashmir Technical. Grover. Back for O'Driscoll. So Kashmir Technical. Second team in a week to score three goals past Christchurch United. There's Cole, his first touch. Sent forward here. Schwartz headers this one away. Numbers were there for United. Richards gets away, Barbara Ryan, good run forward, that'll be a foul and a card probably. There's Godden, showing the yellow, professional foul, just dragging Barbara Ryan down there. See, look to counter there. Of course, we did have a red card last time these two teams played. An early one, in fact. As well for Tom Schwartz. He's managed to keep out of trouble today. Taguchi can't get away, but Barbara Ryan there to collect that one. Schwartz. Back for Tung. Schwartz again. 15 minutes gone. 30 to go. In the second half, Cashmere technical leading as Todd Smith here comes away with it, drives down the line, has Philip in the middle, Schwartz stepping forward on him, good touch from Stern, back for Todd Smith, delivery cleared away by Stora, falls back post here for King, shot comes in, blocked there by Matheson, falls for Godden, as technical. Able to reset on defence. Cole got in. As Barbara Ryan comes across, and they're all the way back to their goalkeeper here, Trishitz United. Good scrambling defence there from Cashmere Technical. As Lindsay steps over the halfway line, got in a bit of space. Goes to thread the needle there for Zeb, but it's not there. There's 
clearing their line again here at Cassidy Technical. Pressure coming now. There's Todd Smith. Lindsay, Stern. Back for Lindsay. Chip sport here for Godin. Cleared away by McIsaac, the goal scorer. Coughlin. Linking up with Richards. Coughlin again. Cole tracking back on him. Does enough there to get the turnover. There's a good turn there by Godin. Sends Philip in a bit of space. Philip, good work there from Storer and well kept in from the goalkeeper Ford. That's a good turn there from Godin. Sending Philip through, but defensive work by Kashmir Technical. Coughlin, McIsaac, sends this forward for Taguchi. Numbers are back as the forces arrive for technical. Taguchi, delivery. Wasn't great, but Driscoll almost makes the mistake as Lindsay steps away with it. This is good from Christchurch United. Chance here for Lindsay. Far side for Cole. He cuts back in, but just unable to get that one past Kane. And just runs into the back of him there. Starting to fall into place a little bit more now for United, but Kashmir Technical they're doing enough at the moment. A couple of scrappy defensive pieces, but not allowing United to get through. So it will be a free kick here. It's going to be Ford to take it. Sends that one deep over the halfway line. O'Driscoll and Coughlin coming together. And it's Coughlin who will come away with it. A little battle there going on. And the foul eventually called on O'Driscoll. Substitution now for Kashmir Technical. Looks like Stora, the captain, will be coming off. Replaced by the number 12, Jordan Spain. There's Tom Schwartz. That's the captain's armband on. Sure, where he'll come on. Spain normally plays fullback, so slot into centre half or McIsaac will come across. But free kick here as Tang will deliver. This one sets up high and it's headed away back post, but cleared away. Chance for Matheson, it is. Can't get that one on target, but big looping header there from Schwartz. And United will have to come away again. Stern, O'Driscoll, far side for King. Got a heavy touch from him this time, but falls for King. Cole, Spain his first touch. As it's Barbara Wright ended up on the deck there. Rise on the sideline as we see a change here for Christchurch United. Is Godin coming from the field? We'll be replaced by the number 20 main. Maybe an eye to next weekend already for Coach Paul Eiffel. It's the Chatham Cup final. There's Spain. Sends this one forward for Coughlin, but he can't bring that up one under. 20 minutes gone in the second half, almost the midpoint. 
Kashmir Technical leading three goals to one here at United Sports Centre. Final round action of the Southern League. Both of these sides already into the national phase. Stern drops for Grover. Charging forward is McIsaac. New lease on life after that goal and a great delivery head for Coughlin. And almost in. Handball being called, but I think they're going with the goal kick as Coughlin unable to add to his tally for the season. Still a bit in this game for sure as Matheson does well there to win the ball back on this near side. So McIsaac to get us back underway. Barbara Ryan forward again for Coughlin. Again that battle between him and O'Driscoll. Grover trying to find the feet there of Maine. Stern now drops for Todd Smith. Far side for King. It's again they're getting numbers back quickly. Uh, Cashmere technical. Everyone behind the ball now except for Coughlin as this one's sent forward for Zeb. And the time for him to bring it under control as McIsaac comes across. Stern delivers. Cole comes forward. A chance and a good block there by Kane, I think it was in the end. And that one cleared away by Richards. Almost hits the coffee cart. But we're back underway. Different ball as O'Driscoll. Bit of space for him, finds that was stern, but there's Matheson caught there, but it's going to fall for Coughlin, and this is where he's dangerous. Plenty of numbers back, just a heavy touch there, but Lindsay drops it back for Watts, almost getting themselves into trouble here, Christchurch United. Grover. Lindsay. Finds Cole. And stepping across is Spain. Richards. Back for Kane. Ford. Schwartz. Bit of pressure coming now on him, but just turns that one away for Tung. McIsaac. Tongue again, back for Schwartz. Where does that switch need to be turned here for United? Two goals down. Breeze taking up slightly here. And it's technical. Just giving away position there. Heavy touch from Paul Eiffel on the far side. Did bring himself on against FC and scored a goal on Tuesday. Just resting players for this game. <laughs> so at this stage, Christchurch United may have their first loss of the season. Got 20 minutes to bring this one back, but a big scalp for Cashmere Technical. Grover, Zeb, Lindsay, Todd Smith, Just sitting deep at the moment, uh, Cashmere Technical, you can see Coughlin, the furthest man forward and he's in line with the ball now. Sam Phillip gives that one away and it's Coughlin again, a bit of space coming forward with him as Richards. Numbers, Matheson forward as well now. Chance here for Cashmere Technical on the break. Barbara Ryan with him. Matheson steps back inside. It's Grover who's there and playing around with it. Uh, United, main now. Challenged there by Tung as Todd Smith comes across. And Tung showing a yellow. Just catching Todd Smith there.
You can see a change coming here for Kashmir Technical. As treatment calls for Ben Horden back onto the field as well. Physio for Kashmir Technical. Looks like it'll be Tyndall to come on, replacing Richards. I think that might be the wrong way around on the board, but... Will be Tyndall. Yeah, it's Richards, he's been full of running. Eventually comes to the side. So we're back underway here with Christchurch United in possession. Seventeen minutes remaining. Main. Still main. Drops back for Zeb. Stern. Todd Smith. He steps forward. Goes for goal. Takes a touch on the way through there, but easy in the end for Ford. Hit it nicely, but it's not the accuracy needed. As Kane on the far side. Pops this one forward. Trying to find Coughlin again. Main drops for Zeb. Main again. Forward here for Philip. This is good. Chance here for Philip. Offside, says the referee. And a good save again there from Ford. The timing of the run, not quite right there from Philip. Forward launches this one forward. Lindsay creates that one. Will be Tyndall's first touch here. He drops that one back. It's King. A bit of pressure on him there. Sends this one back to Ford. He drives this one. Stern's first there. Todd Smith touched, but Spain takes it away from him. And Tyndall again. So he sends that down the line, but no one there for Kashmir Technical. And O'Driscoll. Todd Smith. Happy to hold this one and continue his run forward as Taguchi comes across on him. Able to hold that one. King. Lindsay in a bit of space. Main. Touch back there for Zeb. Lindsay. Chips this one forward, but no one there on the run. And that just goes through to Ford. 15 minutes remaining here. Kashmir Technical still leading three goals to one. Nick Isaac. Barbara Ryan. Stern putting a bit of pressure on him. It's back to Ford. And that one quite on target. We'll take it quickly. Cole. And Spain will come away with that. Tyndall. For Kane. As he clears that one away. O'Driscoll drops for Stern. O'Driscoll. Good challenge there from Coughlin. Matheson free on this near side. Matheson in a bit of space now. One on one with the keeper. Picks a spot, goes for goal, but can't get one through Watts. His main gets a touch on that, but turned over again. He's guilty at the moment of being patient. Christchurch United. Schwartz. Barber Ryan back for Schwartz. 
Tung. Taguchi back for Kane. Matheson. Tyndall. Finds Coughlin. Good little run forward here, but can't find a way through. There's a touch, will be a corner. It's going to have to be a point in this game where Christchurch United need to decide if they want to press hard or just happy at the moment to sit back. Make okay, changes. So they will make their final change soon. Be Chow. He's ready to go. This corner by the looks of things. That will be Matheson to deliver. Effective, but not away. So will be another corner here for Cashmere Technical. And they're going to take their time. Matheson again. Delivery's good. Falls across the face of the goal, but headed away there by Philip. It was. Kane will chase that one down as he heads towards the corner. Back for Barbara Ryan. Tung swings back a little bit too much on that one. Somehow Schwartz gets ahead on it. There's Lindsay driving forward as he tries to link up with Cole on the far side, but it's turned back for Cashmere Technical. Matheson, Coughlin. Can't get through O'Driscoll there, but it's fallen for Taguchi. Tung. Matheson. Gonna have to start chasing it soon. Uh, Christchurch United. Matheson. There's a bit of a miss pass there, but falls to the feet of uh, Schwartz. There's Grover. Mistake there from the number five, and we will get that change. So it looks like it's the number seven, Zeb, being replaced by Chow, the number 18. Opportunity for 10 minutes for the number 18. Look, Isaac. Good turn there from Matheson and a foul called by the referee. Another dangerous position here. And there's Schwartz. Happy to stay back. Coughlin goes for goal, but just can't keep that one down. Still needs one goal, Coughlin, to tie with Sam Phillips. So chasing that. As Todd Smith walks forward into the final 10 minutes here at the United Sports Centre. Cashmere Technical leading three goals to one. This could be the first loss of the season for Christchurch United. As Charles first touch on the ball. Loses out there. Barbara Ryan. Turns and goes. Barbara Ryan finds the feet of Coughlin here. Chance. Goes back inside. And a good challenge there from King, I think it was. It's Tyndall who was running forward. Good run from him. And there's Todd Smith, far side for Cole. Spain steps forward on him. Stern. And there's King. Cole. And there's Spain. No foul, says the referee. As they go back to forward and goal here. Sam Phillip chasing him down. O'Driscoll's touch on the halfway line is good. Still going as O'Driscoll. Cole, bit of space now for him as he charges down that side. Centering ball here, but it's McIsaac who's first to it. Opening up. But now this game, both sides 
Tyndall on the far side. King stepping across him, still going. Uh, it's King who's first there. Grover. Stern. Forward for Chow. Good touch from him. Grover. King. Uses Cole. Todd Smith. Chow again. Has Grover with him. Chow. Sitting deep here. Ah, uh, Cashmere Technical. May. Todd Smith. Pressure from Barbara Ryan. Rover does well there, but won't be able to keep that one in. So it will be a turnover. And it's time. Ticking away here for Christchurch United. And it's Taguchi, unable to keep that one in. Todd Smith back for Lindsay. O'Driscoll. A goal here it would make for an interesting final seven minutes, but at the moment, Cashmere Technical holding on. There's this one sent forward for Todd Smith. Stepping across is Schwartz. Able to keep that one in, sends it down the line. Grover forward for Maine. Chow now. Centering ball, but it's Tung who's there. Main gets a touch on it forward, but cleared away this time by Kane. Clearing their lines at the moment. Grover back for Stern. King in a bit of space now. He delivers. Trying to find the feet of O'Driscoll, but Schwartz has him looked after. The two centre backs coming together. Schwartz sends this one forward. It's Stern who's up to it first. Taguchi gets a touch on that. And is Spain able to cover? But it's fallen for Cole. Taguchi, great body position again from the number 11. There's the players tangle in the middle there. Oh, tongues down, so foul called by the referee. And they'll just take their time here. Will Cashmere Technical. Five and a half minutes of regulation remaining. Touch from Coughlin as he goes for goal, but straight at the keeper, Watts, this time. And they get things back underway quickly here. Time against them at the moment for Christchurch United. Could be the first loss of the season. Todd Smith, forward for Chow. Left to bounce there by McIsaac, but he's able to clear this one away. And there's Barbara Wright coming forward on that. He's the first one there, but it's Grover trying to chip that one in. Back for Barbara Ryan again, falls over the ball himself. Forward here for Philip, but it's Schwartz who's there. Yes. He clutches his hamstring. It's something he needs to do after every challenge. At the moment, there's Todd Smith, Chow, Grover. I'll be happy with this at the moment, I'm sure. Cashmere Technical just keeping them out, unable to find a way through. And as Todd Smith goes direct, it's Schwartz who's there. It'll be a throw in. It's inside the corner flag. Four minutes remaining. Grover. Back for Lindsay. He delivers. But no one there for Christchurch United. Goes out for a goal kick. Barbara Ryan gets ahead to that one. Back for McIsaac. 
can see sends it forward, but I think Coughlin will be able to chase that one in. Pressure coming from Taguchi, but finds the feet of Grover, sends that one forward. Philip can't get up on it, drops back for Kane. As he just drives that one forward towards the path of Tyndall. Good touch from him. As gets away there from King. And it's Cole in the end. Wins the throw it to the disbelief of the Kashmir technical bench. Todd Smith dropping back for King as he fires this one forward. Under a bit of pressure now as Ford, but connects nicely with that one. Stern's there. Everyone misses it. Into final two minutes here. Have to say, I think, depending on how much added time there is. <laughs> Cashman Technical have done enough. Taguchi now, time, goes for goal and headed away there by O'Driscoll, I think it was. Fantastic piece of defending, really. There's this one sent towards the stand. That'll be a throw in much closer down as they take it quickly. Technical, they're not done here. Tongue for McIsaac. Taguchi can't get that one in. The turnover. Pressing high here, uh, technical as Grover finds Todd Smith in the middle, but it's Tyndall who's there. Substitute full of running as he drops that one back. They've got to press forward now to Christchurch United. Grover can't get enough of that, so McIsaac will clear that one. Schwartz back for McIsaac. Finds the feet of Coughlin. Almost had numbers there with Matheson. Todd Smith, far side for Cole. Into the final minute here. Kashmir Technical could be the first side to beat Christchurch United this year. And as Matheson just slows this play down on the far side. Todd Smith working hard to get that one back, but Matheson's done well. Will be a throw in for Kashmir Technical as they look to make a change. Will be Bullard. Coming on, replacing Barbara Ryan. He's had a good game. For number nine. So there will be a bit of added time here. Not much though. As we complete that substitution, we'll tick over full time, it's going to be four minutes on the clock, so four minutes of additional time to be played. As the fourth official does show that now. So, I'd say it's enough time to score two goals, so I'd say Cashmere Technical have done enough here. And Stern just can't find a way through today as Matheson Makes the foul, and Lindsay finds the feet of Grover to Gucci. Tracking back, Todd Smith finds O'Driscoll. Good turn from O'Driscoll as he gets away from Tung. King, Todd Smith, Stern, Lindsay. Stepping forward as Lindsay as he goes for goal, but it's not going to trouble Ford. Well, let's take their time again here. Will Cashmere Technical. As they choose to go long. I have to say, Cashmere Technical game plan here. Sitting deep and just getting forward and ebbs and flows of this game. It's been a fantastic performance. Deserved winners today. Of 
for Christchurch United. They'll look to next week and then they'll be in the Chatham Cup final up in Auckland. There's a shot coming in here, but again, no trouble forward. A bit to work on throughout the week. Be a different game next week, though. All on the line in the Cup final. Lost this game. There's no change in outcome of the top two placings. Christchurch United will finish on 49 points. Cashman Technical will move to 42. As we took over two of the four additional minutes being played. It's good game management at the moment from Cashmere Technical. And there's Tyndall unable to keep that one in. <coughs> Philip. Cole. Trying to keep that one in, but out again on the far side. And as we go to the final minute of the game, as O'Driscoll and Coughlin continue their battle. Slowly limp through this final minute. Both sides pretty tight, I imagine. As Ford does well there, youngster in goal. Um, take his time to do that. A great performance from Cashmere Technical. That'll do it, says the referee. Cashmere Technical win the final round game of this 2023 Southern League. Three goals to one. They'll still finish second on the table. Christchurch United finishing clear. 49 points, place 42. Both these sides back in action in the English Cup final. As well as Christchurch United next weekend in the Chatham Cup final. And then we'll be back for the National League with both of these sides. It's been a pleasure calling you through today. Until next time, stay safe.